can you trust have I been Poland's password checker? Normally, you'd be crazy to enter your password on a website it's not intended for uh, normally. But I want to show you that you can trust this website and you can try this at home and confirm that it's actually pretty trustworthy because it uses Knitomy to uh, verify your password and it's done very securely. So let me let me show you how it's all done. What I'm going to do, I was going to enter password as a password because I know people like to use that as a password. So we'll do that there. But before you press enter or press the poem button, what you want to do is right click on empty space of the web page itself. Go down to inspect. If you don't get a window that pops up like this or it's fixed somewhere, you can press these three little buttons here to pick a different doc style view. If you don't see the networking tab, you want to click that. If you don't see it, there's this little arrow at the very end. You click that, and it'll show you the networking uh, button. But once you see this, keep it like it is. This is fine. But you want to go back to the actual uh, web page itself. Now you can press the pull button. Then we want to go back to that window. We want to press the stop button right there at the top left. And then you can see. This file is right here. We're gonna click on that and we're gonna get a preview. And basically what this is boiling down, what's happening is that have I been pulling in your web browser is hashing your password. It's hashing in the SHA-1. A hash is a one-way encryption. So when anybody gets the hash, they can't reverse it without brute forcing it. And it's just not really feasible uh, unless it's a really bad hash. But uh, I digress a little bit. Uh, but it's hashing the the password and it's all a hash is always a fixed length so about 64 characters long depending on the hash algorithm you use and what your web browser is doing is taking the first five of the hash which is 5baa6 and it's only sending that off to the server and the server over here is responding with everything that started with 5baa6 and there's a number at the very end that number at the very end means how many times it's been in a breach so we can confirm that by going to a uh, SHA-1 hash generator, type in password. And at the right bottom down here, it says 5BAA6. And we have 5BAA6. We can confirm it that way. The server responds back with everything that started with that. So we take everything after that and you can actually do a little search. I got to physically copy and paste it. But you can see, I bet you that's it right there. 1E4C. Yep, that's it right there. The last three is FD8. FD8, yep, that's exact one. And it's been in that many breaches. Pretty cool. So that's, uh, so have I been pulling the password checker? checks your password with actually, without actually sending the password over. So as your browser is actually hashing it, that creates a 64 digit long characters. And it's only taking the first five, sending it off to the server, have the poem response back with everything that started with those same five characters. Then on your browser, it compares to see if that actual hash, the whole hash is actually in this database. And course there was and the website responded back with the exact same number so that is how have a poems password checker it is safe to uh, use um, and of course another thing it's kind of a little tangent of mine but if you're afraid to put your password into this website it means you probably reuse it you need to be treating passwords like they're disposable so never use a password get yourself a password manager uh, let your password manager generate and store those passwords Make a good, strong master password, something you never used before. Make it long, uh, 15 characters or more. And there you go. Make your life a lot easier. Password manager is a must, especially in these days in uh, this day and age of being online. But I uh, hope you enjoyed. Um, sorry for the little side tangent at the end, but that's how you can check your passwords. Uh, that's how uh, have a poll and check your password actually knowing your password. And it's pretty cool. Thank you, guys.